Hi there and welcome to my channel. I have a big passion for nail polishes. With a huge 500 plus and growing, there is one type that I don't own a lot of and that is thermal. So when I saw Born Pretty had recently brought out some new ones, I decided to give them a try. So I purchased four out of the nine that were available. And on the website, they're called Mood Color Changing Nail Polish Thermal. Bit of a mouthful. So I brought four that I liked the most. Before I get started, don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help me out. So we have number 32, which is blue, and it's quite a deep royal blue, very pretty. Then we have number 37, which is like a raspberry pink. It is a beautiful shade. Then we have number 40, which is a dark grey. I don't have many grey polishes. And then we have number 41, which is like a dusky purple colour. And again, another pretty colour. For my swatches, I'll just be placing them onto pop sticks. And I'll be showing them changing colour later on in the video. So because these are nail polishes and will need time to dry between each layer, I'll be applying the first layer to all of the pop sticks. I won't be working on one colour until the end and then on to the next. So this is going to be slightly different than normal. These polishes are nicely pigmented. They're not wishy-washy at all. And they have all gone on really nice. Now, one of the things I am not fond of with these polishes are the brushes. I like that they're wide. However, they are also quite chunky. And when applying them to my nails, I did hit my skin more than normal. So I had to be more careful. They're also, I don't think they're cut straight either on the bottoms. They're quite rough on the ends. But they dry really quickly too. And with this first coat, it sort of dried a bit matte. So I'm now going to apply the second layer of polishes and all of the nail polish swatches are two coats. I felt that they were very opaque within the two coats. So as cold colours, they are really pretty. One thing I do really like about these thermal polishes is they don't change to a completely different colour. They stay within the colour range. It just goes from light to dark, which I think is much better than a completely different colour. But that's just me. So I'm now going to apply a top coat. Now, even though these I felt could have got away without a top coat, when I did my first swatches when they first arrived, I didn't top coat them. When I went back three days later, they wouldn't change colour at all. So they definitely need a top coat over them. I'm also wearing two of them so you can already see the different colours they go. So I've got cold water and hot water in my little pots and I'm now going to show you them changing colour. And I'll begin with number 32, the blue. So I'll go into the hot and then into the cold. This one changes colour really well and it's always a different but beautiful shade of blue. Number 37, the raspberry pink. This again changes really nicely, but under the cold water, it really goes really dark. I think it's darker than the bottle, but I think it's stunning. I personally really like these polishes. Now for number 40, the grey. I wasn't sure to begin with, with the colour of it being hot, but it really grew on me in the end. It's definitely not a colour I'm used to, but again, changes really well. I also think this one is darker under cold than what it is in the bottle as well. And finally, number 41, and this is one I absolutely love. Now I'm going to be showing you the darkness difference under cold, so hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. But even with this one, I still like them. You can tell that I had fun getting these to change colour. 
So I know that number 37 and number 41 look very alike, so I'm going to show you them together. I'll start with them going into the cold, and you'll be able to see there is quite a difference in them as cold. 41 is darker of the two though, but when hot, 37 is darker, is the darker shade. So there is another reason why I purchased these, and that is because I've wanted to do peekaboo nails for a long time now, but I didn't really have the polishes to do it. With these, however, they worked really well. So I only did this with the blue and the gray. The gray definitely worked out much better, and the stamping polish I've used, it's actually a born pretty one, and it's gray number 444. I was so happy with this Manny. Now, for the blue, I've used a color alike stamping polish called Cobalt Kick. It was the closest I could get, even with the amount of blues I have, but I still really like how this has turned out. And for the blue and gray Mannies, I used stamping plate from Lena Nail Art, which was Feeling Shapely 04. And for the other two colors, I just went with black stamping polish, which was the Born Pretty as well. And I really like how these have turned out as well. And the stamping plate I used for these two manis were from, again, Lena Nail Art, and it was Make Your Mark 05. So my final thoughts on these polishes, even though the brushes are quite chunky and I had to be more careful than normal, I found these to be really nice polishes to work with. They went on my nails really nicely. They didn't, however, want to peel off when it came to removing them, though, as I wear not peel off base coat. They were a little bit of a struggle to remove, but other than that, they're really nice. So I will leave all the information in the description box below for you. So I hope you've enjoyed my swatch and review on these thermal colour changing polishes from Born Pretty. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you could. And also don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye!